enough. Yeah. Um, do either you guys have a six, a tier six you are grinding? Not I grinding, do. but I got a couple tier sixes I can play. Grab six. Play. I'm going to play one game in this horrible British submarine, and then I think I'm going to duck off and play ranked for a little while. All right, let me go ahead and... You're playing the snub-nosed whale. Yes, I do not have a very high opinion of this ship. About about 10 days ago, two Sundays ago, I think, I got curious. I was, I was saying on stream at one point that the best way to beat a carrier... To, is to un, is to play one and understand his capabilities. And I realized that with submarines, I had never really done that. And so I sat down and spent probably two hours just doing nothing but playing submarines. And I was intentionally doing dumb things. And I took a look at the British submerge, submergent times, right? The time they can stay down. And I thought, okay, I can stay down five or six minutes. Can I get across the entire map? Can I just go deep? Sail through the entire map. Get up, go get a cup of coffee, take a piss, come back, pop up, and kill the enemy carrier. And I tried that twice and was never successful. So I'm now I look at this boat and I go, what good are you? What purpose do you serve? <laughs> you know? They're so painfully slow. I just don't understand what use they are, honestly. The torpedoes, and it's really because the torpedoes are so pathetically weak, right? At tier six... You only get the homing torps, which hit like limp, limp dish rags, right? They're little wet noodle torps. Whereas at tier eight, I could at least get the dumb fire torps and potentially make it work. But I'm too cheap to spend free XP on submarines. I'm like, I'm not wasting FXP on these these things. <laughs> Sam, you're not wrong, Sam. You're not wrong. All right, let's give this a shot. Yeah, the U's were the U's were basically just kind of like a oh crap, we need a lot of subs. Let's build them quick now. So that, I mean, that's what you know. Historically, submarines in the Atlantic, um, not the Mediterranean, but like other than the Germans, the British submarines didn't um, accomplish much outside of the Mediterranean and them uh, being utilized to keep. The supply lines to the Africa core kind of clamp down and to keep Malta going. The most successful subs in the entire war, of course, were the American Silent Service, the giant fleet boats in the Pacific. But they were almost exclusive. This is good matchmaking for us. The, they were almost exclusively used to hunt commercial shipping, right? Like, basically, the American Silent Service practiced in the Pacific what it condemned in the Atlantic, unrestricted submarine warfare. And their whole purpose, they felt like they're like just murder all. If you just if you cut off Japan's supplies, well, they can't wage war. It, admittedly, admittedly, Nimitz actually testified at Nuremberg that hey, it's what we did in the Pacific is exactly what Raider did in the yeah, Atlantic. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So at least, I mean, and, and I think that's the thing at the end. I, I, I presumably that that is one of the things that got him. I won't say off the hook, but he probably got a lesser sentence because of that, right? Yeah, that that's one of the things that they took into consideration for it was Nimitz's testimony. Yeah, yeah, and and to be honest, the the fleet boats, honestly, they were would have performed a whole lot better. Not just the fleet boats, but the but the older S classes would have performed a whole lot better at the beginning if there wasn't the Mark VI exploder. Well, yeah, you know the 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 torpedo problems took a couple of years and and Charlie Lockwood to fix, and they got there in the end. But um, you know the the Americans primarily used submarines. They hunted commercial traffic. They were scouts, right? When they ex when when the hypo guys at Pearl would identify uh, something that they wanted, you know, that Nimitz wanted to investigate, they would send out picket lines of subs. Like they used a picket line of subs at Midway to try to pick up the incoming Japanese fleet, as an example. And then, of course, in the late war, so many submarines did um, lifeguard duty for the Air Force pilots, the Army Air Corps pilots, uh, doing bombing raids in Japan. Yeah. The Dutch subs were actually really successful in the Pacific, too, when, while they were really? operating. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. I have to look that up. Sounds like a yeah. fun story. Yeah, the um, Drac has a video on it, but, like, the Dutch subs were extremely effective. They were actually designed for it. They were actually designed for the environment. And while there weren't very many of them, they while they were in service the while they were in service and working with the brits they were extremely effective uh 
Oh, jeez. Yeah. By the way, Striker's the carrier on the enemy. Yeah, team. I saw him. He's the Archer on yeah, the I, team. Yeah, that's why I made sure I angled away from those. Oh, planes. you're fine. Oh, you're fine. I have anti-air enough for both of us. Well, three of us, really. <laughs> Good, because... Be a coward. He can submerge. Well, I was going to say, my anti-aircraft is dive, 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 so y'all do you. <laughs> Good, because all I basically have is a guy is a guy with a bottle of sake and a Nambu on my deck for, as, for my AA. <laughs> as, as, yeah. as chat points out, the Dutch submarines uh, benefited from having functioning torpedoes at the start of the war. Oh, we got a Farragut on our starboard side. I'm going to see where he goes, and I'm going to head him off. He Look like he's he's, he's gonna he's gonna turn around. He's gonna follow you. Oh shoot, that's right. I've got I've got swift and silent. I don't have the greatest uh, reload. So you yeah, can't win a gunfight go. against that guy, Chaser. Yep. But I can. Yep. That was I was honestly just trying to get him to fire his gun so I could uh, so he wouldn't right. give himself away. But that didn't work. As I'm well gonna as I thought it was going I'm to. gonna drop to periscope depth so I can keep picking him up, keep murdering oh, hello. him. I can win a gunfight if you can't shoot back at me. Torp's coming in. Yep, I see them. Let's see if we can... Are you going to die, Chaser? Nope. Oh, good. He's I on could... fire again. Yeah. He'll burn. If he's on fire, why can't we see him? Uh, I had to dart into the smoke for a second. Yeah, but my point is, I'm submerged. Why can't I see him? There he is. Dallas, 13 clicks. I'm going to go quiet for a right. second. I'm going to go quiet and see if I can throw some torps at the Dallas when he gets closer. One of the other things that I noticed and learned about the British subs is that... They could stay down a long time, but their battery recharge rate is terrible. All right, we've got sure. planes on our starboard side, friendly planes. I think we might get a glimpse of the Ark Royal, so keep your eyes open. I think actually Striker looks like he might have turned around and gone into the channel in the back. Well, ideally, that's where I want to push because I don't feel comfortable pushing in with a Fuso when we don't have mm -hmm. a battleship on our end. Mm -hmm. There oh, he is. Striker. Oh, we caught a glimpse of him. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can't catch this Dallas with his pants down. He's turning into us. me, so I'm going to throw a rack out at him. He's not even looking at me. He doesn't even know I'm here. He, he's about we'll to know I'm here. I just pinged him. Now he knows. He's turning towards me. I'm going to be able to absolutely do nasty things here. Oh, looks like he might catch some of my torps. Oh, he's, no. he's going to catch all three of mine. He's going to eat. There we go. Murder 69. him. 69. Die. Murder Come him. Come on. Nope, oh, the secondary might get him. Nope. There we go. I'm taking him. Okay, Striker's absolutely coming for us now, so be ready with that DFAA. Of course. Hi, Striker. I love the Shinonomi, but its torps are so slow. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, I'm going to let you guys play with him, because I'll never catch him at 21 knots. I'm going to head to the cap, uh, towards over towards the cap, and kind of harass this Fuso, I think, is probably my best play. Know. I'm going to let you guys play with the carrier because I'll never catch him at this stage. One less C, Rado. One less C. You've got Vesser planes coming in, starboard side. Yeah. I have fighters as well, so I'm not too terribly concerned. Just let, just warning you. Keeping you in the loop. Yeah. Woo! Not gonna. Oh, that did arm. Okay. 
All right, this Fuso in front of me is starting to oh, reverse. 1.5 kilometers of my AA. I'm helping. Which, which, which means that I'm probably going to have to get within about 9 kilometers. Oh, uh, the Fuso's got useful. shots on me, unfortunately. Do you I... think you could pop smoke and keep a striker lit for me for a little bit? Popping smoke and I'm running forward. I've already got a, I've yeah, already got a speed boost on. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Fuso, Fuso's definitely looking. We have a ship lead, but it sure doesn't feel like it, does it? And you just Ow, the Fuso actually looked at me. Yes, he's been looking for you. But Gabe is squishy and has Citadel. Well, the island here is going to be sufficient enough cover, so that's what I'm going to push forward for. Thank you for the smoke. Not a problem. Okay, Gabe is finally in range for my guns. I think I was doing more damage with AP, honestly. Oh, wait, no, I literally just ate all of the uh, Weiser's planes. Oh, Gabe, Gabe got mad at me. <laughs> Good news for me is this Fuso is in big trouble. Oh, do you have him boxed in? Yeah, he's he's going out. I've got six torps on the way. They're all locked. He's he's out. Nice. All right, I'm going to hop into this cap circle. That's going to draw their planes and make them look at somebody else. How many plane kills do you have, Gabe? Uh, 25 on 26. Is that it? That feels bad. They don't exactly have very large squads. And you can blame Chasers, uh... Sake gunner for stealing a few of them. <laughs> his, his drunk dude on deck with a sock with a bottle of sake. I haven't no, got a has, I haven't got a single plane gun. kill. I haven't gotten a single plane kill. That's all that's hilarious. <laughs> Come on. No, Striker is mine. Yes. <laughs> we can also go through that kill to the drunk sake gunner. Good job, Chaser. Well, you were the one that got the kill, so... <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to give the, the sake gunner a little bit of credit here. <laughs> did I do oh, that? Oh, you got the Dallas, too. <laughs> I did. Strikers in chat complaining about the team, and I'm like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> they, they, they were not very good. Your last squad they were eaten. they were not very good. <laughs> they they let a Dallas and a Shinonomi chase you down, Striker. Yeah, they they weren't that I mean, great. In fairness, the Fuso pitched in and tried to help. He just wasn't enough. Look at you with your A defense medal and a Dallas. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> now, Striker, come on, be a fair sport. Give me the food. Mm, maybe I have it disabled. One sec. Thank you, Striker. Uh, stream elements. Let's have a peek at Oh, it is he fast. sending what's left of his planes after you? No, he's no, he's dropping what's left of his squads. He thank, doesn't want me to eat them. Thank you for uh, Don't thank you for taking out the Vessers. Uh, torpedo ah, bombers maybe are I coming for me. Spelled in the chat. Hang Internet. On. No. <laughs> ah, Damn it. <laughs> that's my mistake. It's it's wrong in the chat. It's this. There we go. Any bets okay, on whether that Vesser that. is still sitting behind the island or Good not? Good catch. Thank you very much. Let's do that. There Actually, that no, it looks it. like he's more up here from the way it looks like it's where his planes are coming from. They're gonna try and they're gonna try and bomb me. That's rude. I've only got twenty more seconds. Striker's like, no, thou shalt not cap. I'm like, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? 
All right, you have eight seconds. You have eight seconds, sir. Three, two, one. And didn't get the reset. Hey. <laughs> that was well, a fun game. That was a successful game. I'll take it. We haven't had many of those tonight. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Yeah. I'm just uh, happy about the I'm just happy about the team play. Well, that too. But like if it wasn't for the smoke, I would have eaten shells from the uh Fuso. 40 plane kills in a Dallas. I wish I could comp you for that shenanigans. That's amazing. <laughs> and you were look at that. You were yelling about Chaser. He doesn't have a single plane kill. So that is a lie, sir. He didn't steal any plane kills from you. Yeah, I quite literally ha have have one dual 13 millimeter machine gun mount for my AA on this thing. There oh, it's no terrible. Way I would your, yeah, a, your a your a is like three dps like it's terrible yeah. it's like tier two aa it's garbage if you get an a we kill with a shinonome you deserve a medal I, I, i've had them occasionally on like like uh, uh uh kamikaze and stuff right like every now and then you'll murder a fighter plane and it's like what 